what's going on y'all welcome back to the garage sorry I didn't make a video last night showing what everybody voted on <sighs> man I I went through it once I went through it twice went through it with my kid and I said you know it's not going the way I wanted <laughs> and I said let's give it one more day it's not gonna hurt you know and uh, uh, yeah so yeah, it was only two votes for the, the 2000 GT. I, I like this car. I'm probably still going to do it eventually, but maybe not right now. So that one's out. And then that gave us the Toyota FJ and this sweet little bug. And I like this bug with a solid top more than I like the one with the split top. Uh, I do have one with a split top that's like is broken and someone bent it down and... I don't know. It's sad. But this one's in great shape. And I had plans for it. Unfortunately, it lost by about three votes. So, the custom of the week will be this, uh, this pretty sweet little FJ. And I got plans for it, y'all. I got plans. I got plans. I, I keep thinking in my head that's what I'm going to do. And I'm like, oh, no, I don't like that idea. I'm going to do this. And so, we may not be looking at a Friday reveal since we're already a day behind. It's probably going to be closer to Saturday. Which is fine. It's fine. And if at worst case scenario, we'll do it Sunday, you know, because time is precious. Time is absolutely precious. So, you know, there are better things to put your time into than uh, die cast. So, just so you know, the cloak and dagger is not up here. Not because it was voted out, because it had the same amount of votes as this uh, Toyota 2000 GT. Um, it had two votes. But I just really, really, really wanted to play around with it. And it's not done. But I can show you the progress that we've made on it. Because, uh, in all honesty, um, it's pretty neat. And that white, the whole skull looking thing, that's metal, y'all. Yeah, that's actually metal. I, I thought it was plastic. I said, I'm going to get my little, my little side cutters and just start doing this and this. And then, oh crap, it's metal. <laughs> So that just went a whole different direction than I thought. And then I, I started messing around with it last night. And I shouldn't have, but I did. So uh, I'm going to show you the progress that's on it. So this will be our custom of the week. Hopefully, I'm, I'm going to shoot for Friday. But the colors I want to go, probably going to take a little bit longer to dry. Uh, certain colors of spray paint take a little bit while. And it's way too hot to be using a heater to try to dry cure it here in the garage. I don't want to be doing that in the afternoon. But, you know, it is what it is. So this will be our custom of the week. Let's go ahead and put that down right there. Y'all can still look at it. So I went ahead and I deconstructed that uh, top of the uh, cloak and dagger. And this is where we're at right now. Uh, the bone collector, man. That kind of looks like a xenomorph, you know, skull. If they have skulls, I don't know. I'm pretty sure they have skulls. They're pretty hard to kill. And then this one looks like a giant pterodactyl, you know, looking skull. So I'm thinking in a post-apocalyptic world, giant Pacific Rim type monsters are coming out and scattering the earth. And uh, this guy, man, he's a trophy hunter. So there you go. But we're no, by no means done with this. <laughs> we're we're going to do more stuff to it. I mean, there's other things that, that can be done. But this is just what I did last night. That's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot and, and some of y'all might consider it done but I, I think there's still more we can do I think there's still more we can do we definitely need some kind of screen protection and did you know this is one of those uh, MDX fans I don't know if you can see it there's a tiny tiny little there you go I, I silvered them up little silver elephant because this is made in Thailand and there's your national treasure and animal yeah it's fantastic but yeah work in progress I just want you to know the only two people who voted for it were Neil Cummings, which I absolutely love this guy, he's my Canadian cousin, and Mr. Rat Black himself wanted to see what we could do with this. And I think as a bone collector trophy hunter, uh, this kind of fits the bill. We're not done by any stretch of the imagination. We still got more to do. This is just me farting around, not wanting to go to bed last night and go back to work. <laughs> anyway, that being said, since Mr. Rat Black himself voted on this, um, it's kind of appropriate that he actually sent me a mail call today. Uh, just out of the blue, Mr. Black. 
just sent me, what is going on with this camera, man? Shoot, cheese and crackers, I don't know what's going on. Hang on, just a second. Oh, that's better, that's better. So Mr. Rat Black sent me a box. And uh, we're gonna open it up. I did cut off his name and I cut off my address too because in all honesty, y'all don't need to be sending me stuff. I am literally drowning in die cast. In fact, uh, this weekend when we worked at the food pantry, um, my store was there, my store leadership, my store manager and everybody else and they were helping to, uh, they were helping to distribute food to kind of see what the, who they're donating to, how they work, that kind of thing, you know. So I got to work with a bunch of friends that I haven't worked with in a while because, you know, I'm always on the truck. So it's just kind of nice catching up with them and letting them see what one of my passions is. Uh, the food pantry is an important part. That is my wife's, um, you know, her nonprofit organization runs the food pantry, but they do so much more. The Hutter Resource Center is a organization that will help you. Let me go ahead and put something so you can look at it. It's just not listening to me. Um, they, they will help with if you can't afford your meds and you need your meds, they can help you out. You know, uh, your something catastrophic came up and you can't make your rent or your pay your electricity and you need it for oxygen or machine, whatever. There's certain things. I mean, everything's weighed, but they help out and it doesn't cost you anything. Uh, they will help people out with all different situations. There was a, a young man that needed shoes for a prom for the prom coming up, you know, senior year. Hey, that's an important thing. It's your last one. And they help buy him a pair of shoes. There's a lot of things that this nonprofit does. The food pantry is a big one. In fact, uh, I, I was, I'm just going to say this. We're just gonna, I didn't want this video to go long, but this is an important part of my life. So generally, when I started there three years ago, when my wife took over as the executive director, we were serving roughly 20 to 25 families a week. During the pandemic, that more than doubled. Uh, it is now to the point now with this recession and everything that we generally give away 75 to 80 boxes of the food, uh, of food plus there's other stations, but just the dry goods. Uh, generally 75 to 80. This weekend when my store was there helping out, uh, we had to literally go and make another 15 more cases to give out, 85 families. That number has increased since the last time we did it two weeks ago. So that just kind of gives you an idea where we're at in this economy and the struggles that people are going through. So it was great. I got to talk to all my old friends that I haven't worked with in a while since I've been on the truck. And they got to see a part of the community that's, that they didn't realize. You know, People donate all the time, but they don't ever get to actually go out there and see where their money's going and who they're helping. So it was a great thing. It was a great weekend, y'all. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I enjoyed seeing my store actually participating and seeing some of my old friends that I hadn't worked with in a while. So that being said, let's open this box. I've, I've got the box cut open. <clears throat> Excuse me. I got the box cut open. So let's see what Mr. Rat Black sent that he shouldn't have sent from the rat nest. But I'm excited. I like surprises. I don't like y'all sending me stuff. But I do because I like surprises. So let's see what Mr. Rat Black, Radius Maximus, Black, Black, Radius Blackimus. Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> oh, this is sweet. Oh my gosh. Okay, so these are the giant lightning that come with that sweet tin. 1970 Dodge Challenger RT. I was born in 70, and this thing is freaking sick. That is fantastic. Uh, Challengers are fantastic. Mr. Rat, you didn't have to do it, but this thing is freaking fantastic. And I appreciate you, man. Cheese and crackers, that's nice. Highly versatile. Eh? Any engine made by Chrysler 1970 could be fit into the Dodge Challenger. Interesting fact, that is true, because you could have from the very basic model all the way up to the 440. My, my uncle had a Dodge Polara with the 440 in it. That huge honking yacht would move, my friend, would absolutely move. Oh, so sweet. No way. Dude, you sent me the very first one. 
You sent me the very first one. I just got the glossy black one. And you sent me the first one in the flat black. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Rat, because these are very hard to find. Very hard to find. And very expensive on the secondary market on eBay. So you know what? I did find an extra of the glossy one on card. So these two will go side by side, man. Absolutely freaking fantastic. Freaking fantastic. Thank you. Even the poop's a different color. <laughs> the poop's a different color, sir. Uh, they need to check what they're eating. And this, what the heck is this? This is freaking fantastic. I know what it is. 2006 Pro Mark. I know what this is. This is a Forest Dodge Daytona Coupe. Let's zoom in on this because this thing is freaking fantastic. One of my favorite castings. Really, I think I have two or three in Hot Wheels. But this chunky size... Oh my lord, this thing is freaking fantastic. I don't know where you found this. I don't know. But I like it. I absolutely like it. Wheels are great. Cheese and crackers, that paint is phenomenal, man. Absolutely phenomenal. There's just something about this back end. And that's what the Elsa Gundo Coupe reminds me of. It has that same sort of sweeping back end, you know? Like I said, it has designs of a 280, and then it has other other design elements in it. It's like a mixture of a bunch of different cars. Let's put this off over here. But yeah, that back end kind of reminds me of that. Had Shelby put a, a, a higher rate fin on there? Yeah. Fantastic. Well, Mr. Rat, thank you so much. I mean, I told you before you asked for my address, and I said, you can have my address if you send me a Christmas card. And you did, so just right up there. <laughs> you did send me a Christmas card and you sent me some fantastic things. And thank you so much for this. This is just a a random act of kindness. Uh, just fantastic, sir. This thing, I'm going to have to go find something to pull out of a hard case to put this into a hard case. Because this thing is fantastic. Absolutely love it. I may have to go through my, my totes and find my other Daytonas and open them all up and just put these all together. Because uh, they're fantastic. So anyway, y'all, that's all I got. This video went way longer than I thought. It really did. And so, once again, this will be our custom of the week. Got to get my ideas nailed down. I'm going to go ahead and drill it. Stick it in the stripper tonight. And be done. And uh, that's it, y'all. Thank you, Mr. Rat Black. Thank you for this gift from the Rat's Nest. And uh, I will be working on that bone collector over there a little bit more I want some other things I need to cover up the wheels some other things I want to do so anyway y'all that's all I got as always be safe be well and be kind always be kind until the next time we're at the garage I'll see you later grease monkeys <laughs>